Hina. Hina. <laughs> yeah. Bobby back from the difference is doing it. And this time with a special June of 2023 edition of our monthly disc art giveaways. And look, I am so super stoked about this month's disc because deep, deep in the root system of everything that makes me a total geek <laughs> lies the epic of the hobbit and the lord of the rings like, I, mean, I don't know maybe i was 13 when i first picked it up and read it which thinking back now i was already pretty much a geek <laughs> by that point but nonetheless like the hook was set just a few pages in and i was falling in love with middle earth and all of its trappings fast forward now a few decades plus and like it still sits right at the top of my list of favorites so when like a few weeks back i was chatting it up with my main man and tdd army all-star like the ogest of tdd army all-star scotty Semposky. we were chatting it up and he said yo you should like totally do a smog disc and like immediately all these like ideas of design started rolling through my mind's eye like i had to like shake my <laughs> shake myself out of it. it's gonna be like dude you are totally right. <laughs> I went straight from there to the computer and I scrolled through tons of different smog images, but I couldn't find one that I was really digging on. I don't know, they all looked kind of cartoony to me. And then I came across this one that was this big smog eye opening up from underneath all of the gold coins, you know, like in the movie. I said that is it a dragon's eye a smog eye would be super dope well there it is awesome right <laughs> and how do you know that it's a smog eye and not just any old dragon's eye well because i said so and because on the back side i dyed this smog illustration pulled straight out of the novel with the one ring inscription around it. <laughs> so now you know that it's a smog's eye. So that's what's up for grabs this month. You can all thank OG TDD Army All-Star Scotty Simposky for that one. Here's the other thing I got for all of you nutbags. It is a tutorial locked and loaded showing off every single step that I took on this banger so that you can whip one right up for yourself. I was able to crush down just under eight hours of footage into about 15 minutes thanks to the magic of super speed and i found some killer steampunk dwarven beats to keep you bouncing through it all so why don't we light this powder keg and then as always i will circle back on the other side to hit you all with instructions for how to enter the giveaway and you know a little bit of what we got going on around here all right i will catch you all on the flip in 15, let's get to doing it. Mm.
Boomtown? <laughs> Boomtown! <laughs> okay, look, I hope that that tickled your geek spot as much as it did mine, and that you were able to pick up at least one trick of the trade as it all buzzed by your face in super speed. You know, these last few months, I've been really trying to stay focused on designs and discs that everybody can do, and not like the crazy expert, super hard stuff. And look, like I know that this is a really detailed stencil, and at first glance can appear like, a little intimidating for some, but like I said in the captions during this tutorial, while this one may have taken a long time, okay, it was three plus hours of picking, it's really not like nearly as hard as it may look. Here's the reason why. It's because like I only had to worry about picking little itty bitty pieces off of the disc with this design. There wasn't really any itty bitty pieces to speak of that needed to stay on the disc. That is what can make a stencil super difficult. So you can see in the picture of it here over my super high tech microphone that there is like a bunch of itty bitty black pieces in the design, but there aren't really any little white islands in that design, okay? That's, that's a good thing. And then, you know, for this one for the back, the back was way more difficult to weed out because it does have a bunch of little white islands in the design. Like in the middle of all the lettering there and the one ring inscription and all up in those circular symbols and all through the dragon, it can just be difficult to weed out a piece around one of those little itty bitty pieces that need to stay in place without moving it around by accident or, you know, just lifting it right off the disc. So, you know, just something to think about and hopefully encourage some of you to try some designs that you think may have been outside of your comfort zone. Just remember, if there's a bunch of itty bitty black pieces in the design, way easier than it looks and you are all over it. If there's a bunch of, you know, little white islands in the stencil design, much tougher, okay? But listen, if I can do it, I know that you can do it too. All right, let's hang a left and move on to instructions for how to enter this giveaway. It, it's crazy to me that there are still huckers out there hearing this for the first time every month. And listen, if you're one of them, welcome to the party. We're so, <laughs> we are super stoked to have you. Here's how we do these things. Just three simple steps to get yourself all the way up in there like swimwear for a chance at winning this Smog's Eye Smasher right here. First, just be a subscriber to our little T Diddy YouTube channel. Second, cram a comment in down below on this video so that the comment sucker upper can get to know you. And then third, help us spread the good word and share this sucker with another hucka. Easy enough, right? Check off those three boxes, cross up your fingers and toes, and then I will be back right here on the YouTube channel to announce the winner Monday, June 26th. You will know that you've won the giveaway when you see the words of your name come out of my mouth. Yeah, <laughs> just like that, kind of. But listen, if someone reaches out to you telling you that you've won, like we don't do it like that. So it's either like a liar, a cheater, or a stealer. Just remember, your name, my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> okay, enough of all that, you kids get it. You know, we also do have a good handful of stuff cooking in the up and coming category as well. Our next episode of Other Basement this that I've been promising featuring Dies by Red, that should be dropping in just a few days or at least this upcoming week, which I'm also looking at for our next live stream disc die session, Friday the 16th to be exact. And then the week after that, I should finally be able to finish up our next edition of the hashtag TDD Army showcase series that I've had stuck on the back burner for weeks now. So hopefully all that enough of a reason to make you want to hit that little notification bell below me so that you don't miss out on any of it. All of that crap that I just rattled off though, all of it fails in comparison to my excitement for what is really coming soon, which is my trip up to Ledgestone in a couple months. Yes. Oh man, I'm so excited. I just got my tickets last week so it is official and like i don't think my stoke level could get any higher i got to go up to ledgestone a couple years ago it was an amazing trip like getting to watch those bionic humans 
throw plastic circles just unthinkable distances. Like with laser like accuracy was absolutely amazing. But really my favorite part of the trip by a mile was getting a chance to meet a bunch of you nutbags and yuck it up a bit out there. So like if you're heading out to Ledgestone this year, yo, I'm going to. Yeah. <laughs> and wouldn't it be awesome if we got to bump into each other? But like here's the thing. I have no idea what you look like. <laughs> So, if you're heading out there and, like, by chance, you're able to where's Waldo me in the crowd, like, come give your hucka from another mother a hey now. Like, and tell me some awesome dis die story because, like, that is the stuff that made my last trip out there absolutely unforgettable. So, Ledgestone, a couple months. Let's do this. Yeah. All right, that's all of it. That was a lot though, right? <laughs> that was a lot. If by chance you're one of the three or four people out there who is still listening to me babble, I don't know. I'll probably never understand it, but I will keep doing it. Best of luck to all you huckers in the giveaway. Big ups to my main man, Scotty Simposki, for the inspiration on this one. And until we catch you on the next one, you better keep doing it. Yeah. Oh. Heartbreaker. Oh no. <laughs>